revere themselves one star at a time. Hey guys, I am on my way to shoot the food video. I also have to drop off some stickers that a, uh, let's see, who's, Joe, Joe R, he ordered some stickers and uh, so I gotta drop them off at the post office. I also need to buy new or more uh, US stamps. I'm out of US stamps. I still have international stamps. I got Canadian stamps. I just need US stamps, so I'm gonna grab uh, a couple more things of those. Then we're gonna zip over to Bar Burrito, and I gotta shoot that video, get home, edit it, and upload it. So it is 11:54. Got up this morning, just like the song says. Uh, I think I said it that morning. Got up this morning. Yep. Uh, so got up, shot the vlog. I uh, had to redo all the Patreon credits and all the channel member credits because we're now into a new month. So at the beginning of every month, I have to redo all the credits for all the people that support this channel every month. And so I had to do those, add that into the video that I just shot, uh, upload the video, do the thumbnail, put it all out, uh, and then get all my stuff organized to go down and shoot this video. Crazy day, crazy day. I also want to get a knee brace, but we'll have to do that tomorrow. So look forward to that vlog. Uh, there's a place, uh, there's a few places I want to try, and I need to go to a place that actually doesn't just sell the stuff. I want to talk to somebody who sells it and can give me actual information about that product other than a salesperson or a cashier just checking you out. Uh, so we'll do that. But uh, yeah, we've got to get this video done as quickly as we can without making a look like we're doing it as quickly as we can. Uh, another thing too, I've been looking into windows for Moose. And I have watched a few videos on how to install windows in a Sprinter van. Sometimes they make it look easy. Sometimes they make it look really difficult. And, you know, if you screw up, you, you it's really screwed up. And uh, so I'm, I'm trying to find prices and of windows. And I also would like to get the, the double pane um, kind of insulated windows. Just because sometimes it gets really cold in the van. And uh, it'd be nice to not have regular windows. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. Uh, you know, I want to get the perfect window for the perfect price. And if somebody can install it for me, the better I can go and shoot more videos uh, while they're installing stuff. Uh, we also have to get the van rust proof. There's a few spots of rust on the van. I also want to get that looked after as well because I do not want it to spread. And, uh, yeah, it would be nice if we had a garage that had like a 10 foot door uh, and they do make them so uh, our garage is too short to put the the, the uh, sprinter van in it but you know you keep you keep your vehicle in a heated van during the winter and you're not using it uh, you, you prolong the life of that van for many 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 months years Anyway, so let's get this, uh, let's go to the post office first and then we'll go to Bar Burrito. <music> it's funny, I just passed the post office by accident. Uh, I was listening to the news report and they're talking about the Jays being uh, playing today. So I'm like, uh, it's like my mind was like, get to Barbarito, get to Barbarito. And then I passed that plus the Jays around my head. It's like they play at 4.15 today. So I got to add it really fast today so that I can watch the Jays play and upload a video for you guys. made it this time and I didn't pass it. Somebody 
left their thing in there. Come on. Better. Well, it looks like they have a large uh, request and it's going to take forever. So we'll uh, get the Barbarito done and then there's a Shoppers Drug Mart over that way that has a mail or a post office in it. And uh, yeah, we'll get the stamps there. Let's go. I just experienced probably one of the hottest food items I've ever experienced. And uh, I think I swore the most in that video that I've ever sworn in any video. So if you're sensitive to the shit word, then maybe you shouldn't watch that video. <laughs> and uh, and uh, is that on the outside now? It's on the outside. Something flew in, I guess it was the ladybug. I thought it was a, another wasp situation. I think it flew in and then flew out and then it stuck to the outside of my window here. That was a crazy, crazy episode. Again, guys, if you wanna show your support for these videos that are crazy like that, make sure you like, the, like it, share it, definitely share the video, add it to your favorites list. Leave a comment. Thumbs up, especially my true amazing supporters when you see other true amazing supporters on this channel leaving comments show your support to those people and just you know it, it doesn't take long just go through all, all your favorite people that leave comments and just going through and like every single one of their comments takes seconds oh yeah uh, uh, you know uh, Matthew Wilson yeah, he's in every single video click Kevin Brock 82 Count Roshkula, Kenji Roo, 731, Justin, uh, Carla, David Thompson, Amy Mitchell, Dennis, Mr. Halloween 47, Dom's World, Chris Vickers, Kristen Hill, Steve Reynolds, Sherry, Natalian 1320, Suzanne, Moritz 18, Ref Bump, Mark Spore, Sharky D, Sports Gerbil, Thomas Becca, Mark L 5048, Ducky Pam, Miss Honey Gaming, Jackie, and all the rest you know and love. Give them some support. Click their like button. So now it's just after one o'clock. It's 104. Uh, I'm going to fly the drone real quick, get a couple aerial shots, uh, and then we'll head over to Shoppers Drug Mart and get those stamps, head home, edit like a madman, get this video hopefully before six. enjoyed that I even practiced with the uh, the active track feature on this I don't use it enough uh, where you can actually like just highlight something that you want the camera to always be facing no matter what and then you just fly the drone and it just makes sure that the drone is at least facing in that direction so I don't think I can back out properly here yeah I can it's just I'm really tied up against the curb yeah, I've got a back curb. Stop. There we go. All right. So I think I can get out this way faster. I don't know. Some of these exits, you can only go one way, which is fine. I want to go back that way. And I think this is a, a yeah, you can't turn left at this exit up, out onto the main road. Oh, there's a shoppers right here. But they don't have, do they have, some of the shoppers don't have a post office in them. 
doesn't look like they have the post office option. All right, so we're gonna go to the post office, uh, the shoppers that has a post office option. lunch break incredible and there was a guy just ahead of me with a whole basket full of par parcels I was gonna ask him if I could get ahead of him <coughs> doesn't look like I have to ask Back to the post office. Jeez. Hello, two books of American stamps, please. Sure. 1763, which card? Visa. Yeah. Let's see if there's something. Thank you. Yeah. Have a great day. So when I first walked in there, or when I first started walking up, there's a car pulling in ahead of me. I'm like, oh no, and there's already all of the cars here. There's a line up in there, and there was two people. I beat the people that were just pulling in right in front of me. And uh, luckily the first person was just finishing up, and the second person wanted one stamp. Yes, that's the kind of lineup I like. Not the person who needs, you know, a P.O. box. They gotta fill all the forms. Then they need, uh, you know, tons of stuff. It's like being in the, the Tim Hortons line and the person in front is one person in the car, but they're ordering for 17 people. You hate to be behind that person. And that guy is on my side of the road. What the hell, dude? Both of them. They're like over the line. It's just like, what the hell? <gasps> right now, uh, my stomach is burning. My lips were burning for a while after uh, the Reaper. And I still feel lightheaded. And again, the first time I ever experienced that. Jeez. Um, and it's probably because I hadn't eaten since yesterday. So at least 12 hours, maybe 16. No, it wasn't 16 hours. Thing, the last thing I ate was one of the cookies from Ben's birthday cookie cake. All right, guys, that's all I got for you today. Tomorrow we'll be uh, going out to get our knee brace and uh, another another surprise. And I've been working hard for this surprise, and uh, I want to take you guys with me. I'm so excited. I hope you're excited too, because. I can't tell you. You'll have to wait and see. Look forward to that, people. Talk to you later. Bye.